Hi, I'm Dr. Marianne Centron. I want to invite you to download my app for free on iOS. It's CDSM. It stands for Centron Dyslexia Solutions with Music. We're still waiting for Google to get it updated for free, but you can download it for free um, up to three lessons on Google at, until um, Android until Google's ready. But iOS, it's available up to 10 lessons. So download the app, CDSM. And I wanted to take you through four steps of my reading program, if I could. A lot of people are asking, what is your program about? So I have nine easy steps, and I want to show you the first four. So we start with our phonogram cards. So the student just says the sounds. G, K, A, E, T, D, J, I, A, B. Hold on there. H, K, M, U. Er, p, k, s, v, w, and z. So with the student I'm working with now, I'm going to be adding extra cards um, because as we read in, a, in my phonics reader, new sounds are introduced. So there's different sounds that the student is um, learning in one session because the synapses have already been fired. We're just refiring those synapses. A lot of times kids that come to me, third, fourth, fifth grade, they've learned stuff already. They're just not understanding it. They've been introduced to it. So this is how we build phonemic awareness. That was step one. Step two is we use sound circles. So there's um, these little circles that have two sides and I use a, a rectangle, a sound rectangle. So I'm gonna pull my uh, board down, my laptop down. So the first word I would teach is, well, we're in exercise two. So what I always do is I have the student repeat the word and then we tap it out with our fingers and then we pull the sounds down. So at first we substitute the beginning sounds and then we bring a new word. And every time we bring a new word, we tap it out with our fingers and I'll show you how that looks. So the word is link, repeat link. Then we go ul, e, n, k, link. But I also share that nk, we say it together. So let's do it again, ul, e, nk. That's how we teach link. So now we're gonna pull the sounds down for link. We're gonna go ul, e, ink. Okay, so when we point to it, ul, e, ink. What that's doing, the consonants are pink and the vowels are orange. So the student repeats after me, Link becomes pink. Link becomes pink. So the O goes away and the P comes down. And then we point to each sound. P, E, ink. Pink. Pink becomes wink. So they repeat it. And then we say the P goes away and the W comes down. Point to each sound. W, E, ink. Wink. And then we empty our rectangle, sound rectangle. The next word is lend. Say lend. Lend. So we tap it out like this. Ul, e, n, d. Now these stay separated, but anyway, say it again. Ul, e, n, d. Lend. So we're going to pull the sounds down. Ul, e, n, D. And then we point to the sounds. U, E, 
D, lend. Lend becomes bend. And the child repeats, lend becomes bend. So the U goes away and the B comes down. Point to it again. B, E, N, D, bend. Bend becomes tend. So the B, go, they repeat it, the B goes away and the T comes down. T, E, N, D, tend. And then I ask them, do you know what tend means? For example, a shepherd would, will tend to the sheep. So there's a little bit of vocabulary development with this. So I do five words at a time. If the student's a little bit slower and needs that time, and then when we do our spelling test at the end of the day, I, at the end of the hour, I also have pages that provide the beginning two sounds and the student writes the ending two sounds. So this is the third session we've worked with these words. So there's five words and then the next five words and then the third set of five words. So today the student listened to the music app, music in the left ear, and the exercise two was in the right ear, and he went up to 15 words. And I provided the first two sounds, he provided, he wrote the last two sounds, but oh my gosh, his self-esteem really improved. And he said he was kind of scared at first, and now he wasn't scared. So step three, we use my plastic letters that I order, and I personally paint all the vowels black. So we are on what we call anagrams. So let me show you what that looks like. I have the student take out four letters. And so I say, take out a P and an N and an I and an S. So I tell the student the letters out of order and I tell them this is gonna create four different words. So if the student struggles, we'll let them know that the vowel will typically go second. So what word would that be? Pins, okay. So if they get stuck again, usually this little student was pretty sharp. He put that in the front and he spelled spin. And then he traded these two and he wrote nips. And then another one would be um, snips, snip. So this is what we call anagrams. So I do three sets of these. The next set uses the P and the I and the S. So what's coming out is we're gonna trade with a T. So I let him know this spells three words. So he might struggle a little bit. So let's go back to the vowel being second. Let's put a consonant. And a lot of times the S means plural, so it's gonna be at the end. So he spells pits, P-I-T-S. Then I remind him that the S can also be, well, let's, let's just swap the two consonants. And then you have tips, okay? And then often the S is part of a blend, consonant team. So we would have, if that's not a word, we could put the S with another consonant. So we have S, P, I, T. And so there we have three words. And then the, the last one I do, I, so I do three sets. We're gonna take the vowel e, I out and put A. Okay. And we keep all that. We have, um, and then let me see, S, oh, I'm sorry, we take the T away, we have S, L. Okay, so these are the new letters. So with the vowel being second, let's see what he comes up with. Let's put the consonant first. Let's put that S in the end. So he will have pals. And then let's trade our consonants, keeping the S at the back and we have laps. Now let's put that S in the front because we like to see S with our vowel, our consonant team a lot. We have slap. 
And then this bright student actually came up with Alps. I'm climbing the Alps next week. So those are the anagrams. And then the last, well, the fourth step is really fun. It's when I read, do the phonics reading. So you need, we use the music at this point. And I'm gonna show you one of the pages. I'm gonna share my screen. And this is one of the pages the student reads while they listen to music in the left ear. So Bet, we're, we're gonna have some visual and auditory discrimination. And I'm, I love this. So we're gonna say, bet, felt, met, melt, sit, silt, wet, welt, sand, sad, sand, bed, bend, bad, band, bed, bend, kit, kilt. So from my reading with Patricia Cunningham, she used to like to see the words come together like this. And it makes sense. Here is ram at a P, ramp. Cap at an M, camp. Bum, bump. Pup, pump. Lap, lamp. Hum, hump. Lip, limp. Lead, lend. Lad, land. And then here's some more visual and auditory discrimination. And remember when they're listening to classical music in the left ear, it really helps their auditory processing when they read this. So we have hut, hunt, cat, can't, bet, bent, set, sent, lit, lint, wet, went, but, bunt, hit, hint, Pat, pant. So I wanted to share that because I don't know other programs doing that. And I'm gonna teach you more about what I do in my reading program. This uh, Friday on the 28th from two to three, I'm gonna be uh, working with a speech pathologist, Maria Perkins Davis. And we're gonna do, an, um, do a nice hour and a half webinar. So tune in and you'll get CE units for it. You could submit your hour to get some credit. I'm so excited. And I just wanna invite you to that. So I hope these first steps, one through four, answer a lot of questions for you and let you know how easy it is to actually teach reading with a little bit of training. I've lowered my initial training to $97 and you have to see my package. So go to my website dyslexia-solutions.com. I'm giving a real special price right now for the whole kit. And then of course, I'd love you to send your students to me so my team can help with the tutoring. But I give you a couple of options at a very affordable price. So visit my website and we'll talk to you soon. See you Friday, bye-bye.